Welcome back to The Guru. Today I'm going to show you all about Google Photos. Google Photos allows you to store all of your photos in high definition on the cloud so they don't take up any space on your computer. Google will also organize these into albums for you and allow you to make changes and edits to them. I'll show you how now. To get to Google Photos, you want to go up to this grid in the top right, click More, then go into Photos. So as you can see, I already have a few photos here. It automatically divides them by date, and it pulls all the photos that you've ever posted on Google+. If you have photos on your phone and have the Google Photos mobile app, you can have these automatically sync into your Google Photos library as well. To upload new photos, just like Drive, all you need to do is drag the photo into the screen on your desktop. I'll show you how now. So I'm just going to drag this photo of the Guru. So now this photo is part of my library. If I just click View Photos, you can see it there under Added Today. So what are some of these other features that we have? If we click into one of our photos, we can make edits to it by clicking this little pencil icon up here. And we can adjust the lighting, color, what they call pop sort of makes it look a little more cartoony and brings out some of the contrast and saturation and then also the vignette which um, makes the sides a little darker and they also have these pre-made filters so you don't have to play around with it as much sort of like Instagram if any of you guys have used that mobile application you can just quickly edit a photo with a filter here and you can choose to save it or you can compare it with how you had it before See, there's the original, and then there's it with the edits. And we're going to go revert to the original on this one. And we'll X out of the editing. And then you can also share this photo by clicking here, the familiar share icon. And you can get a shareable link, or you can share it directly to the social network of your choice. But so far, a lot of these features are pretty standard for any photo storage application. What really makes this unique is the personal assistant. So the personal assistant will create fun things using your photos. Right now we don't have any in there but I can show you one that it made earlier. After it's made it you can choose to keep it and save it to your library or you can reject it and not keep it. But here I'll show you one of the cool things. So I have all, all these pictures of a tree that I took while on a hike and then the personal assistant put those all together to sort of create this animation that shows the tree in a more three-dimensional way and shows my dog running from the tree in the sequence of photos. There's lots of things like this that the personal assistant can make for you and if you have the mobile app you can actually make these yourself rather than waiting for the personal assistant to hopefully make a cool thing for you. And then also there are collections which are similar to albums but this also pulls in collections that you've shared on Google+, and it can do it by date or by theme. So these are automatically created, but you can also create your own collections. And I've also done another post on what a Google Plus collection is, so you can take a look at that at theguru.com for a little more information on that. I hope this has given you some more insight into how Google Photos works. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you and have a great day.